Juju played a lot of ball, um, and I think as a freshman he came and he was a spark plug for our team. He did some really good things. Um, last year, you know, early in the season, it's kind of a tale of two things. Like early on against Arkansas and Georgia, um, you know, I think he had some of the better. Against Arkansas, you could, he ran the ball the best on our team, caught the ball at the backfield really well. Against Georgia, he had some good things. And then for whatever reason, um, among him, amongst me, amongst our offense, you know, whether it was some few plays where he might have had TFL here or there, or we try to get him out in space and we missed a block here, or he fumbles the ball against Anna. For whatever reason, he didn't have the season that I thought he was going to have last year. So just him just putting it back all together, regaining the confidence, which I think he has, and just for him just staying healthy, gaining some weight, and just making sure that we feel him every day at practice because he's a great energy starter. He has juice. The offense, the offense thrives around him being there. He makes our team better just from the passion that he plays with and the way that he plays. So now just put him in positions to do that day in and day out and game in and game out so that we can really see him put his print on the team this year. With, have you seen from Mario how, I mean, obviously there's a tremendous difference between Newberry and South Carolina. How is he adapting? Like how, 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 how long will it take him to adapt? Honestly, run game, he's picked that up very well, man. He, like that was the biggest thing from his tape. He had a great skill set in the run game. He could, he had great feel, great vision. He has good, he has really good footwork, and he breaks tackles. And I think that's going to translate immediately, and it has translated. Um, you know, he ran the ball really well. I think the biggest thing for him is just going to be ID in these new fronts. Um, you know, we have a lot more terminology and a lot of different more things that he has to see here, and a lot more protections than what he used at uh, Newberry. So just him getting up to that part and being people in that so he can be using all three downs. But I think the things that translate have already shown. I mean, he's vision, great runner, um, and really he, he has the ability to break tackles. And that's going to – he can break tackles at Newberry and he can break tackles in the SEC as well. Mo, Cam is obviously going to – Cam Stanley is going to start running back. What, what about his skill set and his talent really kind of lends himself to play in that position? Um, he, he was a Wildcat quarterback in high school, so he shows the ability to run already. Um, you know, he was a – he ran the ball a lot. He's a, I mean, he's a big dude. He's a, you know, he's six two, six one and a half, two twenty. Um, kind of give you that, kind of give you that mo. And he has really good hands at the backfield. So it's just going to be um, about him just getting them up to speed. He's never played his position. So just seeing what he has once camp starts and just molding them and getting them into it. But I'm excited about it. He's excited about it as well. So um, I think he'll be a key asset to our room once he get things going. Because with his quarterback uh, mind and that thing, that he can be a smart player for. With, with DK and Cam being two former high school quarterbacks. How much does that help from a running back perspective, whether it's blitz pickup, hiding fronts, and things like that, the stuff that quarterbacks Well, Well, usually, um, I mean, if you're a quarterback, you're going to know how to protect yourself usually, so you should be in tune to who the line is blocking and just being that quarterback, you got to study more and you understand safety rotation and how that could bring pressure and just being a leader on the team. So those guys see football well. Now, yeah, I think the biggest thing about those guys is DK, he showed that he was tough. You know, he played special teams before I moved him to running back and I still didn't block DNs and linebackers. So, you know, you don't necessarily want to just always have quarterbacks that was high school quarterbacks and running backs because you don't know how they're going to play between the tackles or know their toughness. But these two guys are tough, you know, rugged guys that play that play well. And I think being a quarterback helps you understand football and you have a much more knowledge of the game. And you, you understand fronts and understand linebackers, location and things like that. So I think it can only help you because you've already been studying the game from that, you know, knowing what everybody else has as well.